Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this circle that is fully inscribed in a trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these are our points of uh, tangency over uh, here. And moreover, the length of uh, these uh, bases uh, C, D is uh, 37 units, whereas the length uh, of this uh, base uh, a b is 74 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid uh, a b c d please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale and here's a good news for you i have a bonus question at the end of the video so therefore please watch the video till the very end Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we are interested in finding the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid ABCD, and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula H times A plus B divided by 2. And now we can see we have already got uh, our base A and base uh, B. However, we don't know the height of this uh, trapezoid. Let me label this height of the trapezoid. Uh, by this lowercase h and now we are going to find the value of this uh, h in order to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid. Before we proceed any further let's go ahead and recall uh, basic uh, terminology. So therefore let's recall tangential uh, quadrilateral. It is a convex uh, quadrilateral whose sides are all tangent to a single circle within the quadrilateral as you can see in this uh, diagram so therefore our this uh, trapezoid a b c d is also called the tangential quadrilateral and here's our next step let's go ahead and label this uh, side length uh, b c as x units and now let's recall the pitted uh, theorem in a tangential quadrilateral the sum of uh, its uh, two opposite uh, sides are equal in other words the sum of these opposite side lengths uh, h plus uh, x is going to be equal to the sum of these opposite uh, side lengths uh, as well as you can see on the right hand side so let's simplify this equation so this is going to give us uh, h plus x equals to 111 let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one let me go over this pitted theorem's proof pretty quick and now let's focus on this tangential quadrilateral a b c d where these points e f g and h are points of tangency and we are going to prove that uh, the side lengths a b plus uh, c d these lengths uh, is equal to these uh, side lengths a d plus uh, b c and now let me go ahead and label uh, this side length uh, lowercase a this uh, lowercase b this side length uh, lowercase c and this uh, lowercase uh, d and now let's recall two tangent theorem if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point then they are congruent so therefore according to this theorem this side length a e is congruent to this side length a h if this side length is a then this side length has got to be a as well Likewise, under this uh, same theorem, if this side length is B, then this side length has got to be B as well. Likewise, if this side length is D, then this has got to be lowercase d as well. And finally, if this side length is C, then this has got to be C as well. And now we can see that this uh, A, B length is uh, A plus uh, B. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by A plus uh, b and for this uh, side length uh, c d is going to be c plus uh, d so therefore i'm going to replace this c d by c plus uh, d so the left hand side of this equation turns out to be a plus b plus c plus d and now let's focus on this uh, a d length that is equal to a plus uh, c so therefore i'm going to replace this a d by a plus uh, c and finally let's focus on this length uh, bc that is equal to sum of b plus uh, d 
So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, BC length uh, by B plus uh, D. So therefore, the right hand side turns out to be A plus uh, C plus uh, B plus uh, D or this could also be written as A plus uh, B plus uh, C plus uh, D, isn't it? Therefore, we conclude that this uh, left hand side is indeed equal to the right hand side. And that's our proof uh, for this uh, Pitted theorem. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw some auxiliary lines. I'm going to drop a perpendicular from this uh, point C onto this uh, line AB. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and this uh, line uh, CE is our perpendicular. Now we know that this uh, AECD is our uh, rectangle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length. If this side length is H, this side length has got to be H as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BEC. We know this whole uh, side uh, length uh, is uh, 74 uh, units and this side length uh, is uh, 37 units. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, EB is going to be 74 minus uh, 37. So that is going to give us uh, 37 units. And now we know that this is our right uh, triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and label this longest leg as side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 37 whole square plus b in our case is h. So that's going to become h square equal to c in our case is x square. And now let's focus on this uh, equation uh, one. If I move this uh, h on the other side of this equation, so we're going to get x uh, equals to 111 minus uh, h. And now I'm going to replace this uh, x uh, by this uh, 111 minus h. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this x uh, by 111 minus uh, h. Now let's simplify, 37 square is uh, 1369 plus uh, h square equals to, now let's recall this uh, famous identity, a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So the right hand side binomial could be written as uh, 111 square is same as 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 minus 222 h plus h square and now we can see this h square is gone with this h square let me go ahead and move this term negative 222 h on the left hand side and at the same time i'm going to move this 1369 on the right hand side so therefore this whole thing could be written as 222 h equals to 1 2 3 2 1 minus uh, 1369 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 222 so this is gone therefore our h value if we reduce the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 5476 divided by 111 so therefore the height of this uh, trapezoid uh, h turns out to be 5476 divided by 111 and here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, trapezoid ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again, H times A plus B divided by 2. And in our case, our A value is 37, B value is 74, and our height H is 5476 divided by 111. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this blue shaded trapezoid is going to be our h is 5476 divided by 111 times our a value is 37 plus b value is 74 all over 2. Let's simplify everything so we are going to get 5476 divided by 111 
times on the top if we add them that is going to give us 111 divided by 2 and now we can see this uh, 111 and 111 is gone so therefore the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid turns out to be 27 38 square units and here's your bonus question the area of the tangential uh, trapezoid is equal to the product of uh, its uh, basis in other words the area is it equal to 37 times 74 please leave your feedback in the comment box below so that's the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid abcd turns out to be 2738 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye